everyone this is Carla and in this video I'm going to discuss the three big things that you need to do right now to have a successful third quarter so welcome to this video my name is Carla R. Jenkins I am the chief blogger of CarlaRJenkins.com a business blogging website in the areas of social media personal branding and project management two-time Amazon best-selling author and certified project management professional certified scrum and idol with 12 years problem-solving experience in project management, big data, and IT service management. So today is Monday, July the 1st, 2019. So it's the first day of the third quarter and the second half of 2019. And I wanted to shoot this video to help people in the areas of time management. So that's why I'm doing the three big things that you need to do for a successful third quarter. Number one, Increase what's working. And I know that sounds very easy, but oftentimes when the year lags on, you start focusing more on what's not going right than what is going right. So just start on a positive note. Number one, increase what's working. Number two, decrease what's not working. And in addition to that, I want to add, if you start something in the second quarter, like April, May, and June, and it's not working, but you think it may take off, still evaluate it the same way and be clinical about it because what isn't working in the second quarter can drag on into the third and fourth quarter. And that's not something you want if you want to have a successful third quarter. So if you really truly don't feel even after 90 days, it's not working, just cut it loose because it frees you up to be in a situation where you can take that same time and energy and allocate it to something that will work this third quarter and beyond. Then in number three, separate everything by quarters. As I mentioned earlier in this video, oftentimes we don't look at what our successes are because they happen in the first quarter or you're just looking at what's not going right. Separate what success is out you had in the first quarter and what successes you had in the second. So I'm going to use myself as an example. In the first quarter, I completed my IDLE for certification, which is IT service management. And the second quarter, I carried over 20 units for my project management professional certification renewal. And so those are two separate things of what was working. And they're different because renewing my certification is different than actually passing it. But those are two different things that's happened. And also by separating by quarter, you can pull out more of what's right. You can get more granular. And that's something that you really need to do when you're doing these three big things. You're auditing and comparing what's working and what's not working. And when you do it by quarter, you get more in the weeds of what isn't working. Pull that up so all you have is what is working. So I'm going to do a recap for the three things that you must do to have a successful third quarter. Number one is increase what works. Number two, decrease what's not working. And three, separate by quarter, so first and second quarter. These three things will really help you be clear and objective for this third quarter and beyond. So once again, my name is Carla R. Jenkins. I am a certified project management professional. Certified Scrum Master and Idol with 12 years problem solving experience in project management, big data, and IT service management. And you can get in touch with me at my website, carlarchickens.com. Click on the contact button and I'll receive your email correspondence. So I would like to thank everyone, both live and replay viewers of this video, for taking up the time to watch me. And I'll see everyone in the next video. Happy third quarter. Bye.